The rise form will reveal what the trout is likely eating. For example, you might see a subtle surface disturbance in a slow, smooth run. The rise will only show the nose of the trout and the tail following. Usually a bubble is left behind. The subtle rises indicate food that isn't going anywhere, usually a mayfly done or a spinner drifting passively in the current. In this situation, even a five pound rainbow might not make much of a disturbance. It knows the food isn't going anywhere, so it doesn't make a rush at it. Now, on the other hand, you might see a splashy disturbance on the surface. Splashy rises are a reliable indicator that trout are pursuing food items towards the surface. Trout are chasing the food because it can get away. It might be a caddis pupa, which rises rapidly to the surface. Once there, the adult caddis immediately pops out and flies off. Trout know this and will strike hard and fast. The type of rise will dictate what presentation you will need to present. In the case of a mayfly, you will need a drag-free drift presentation, such as a marshmallow floating aimlessly in the current. With caddis flies, you add movement to your fly, such as drag or a skittering motion. Ooh, got him. Nice. There you go, Bill. Oh, little yumper. I love it. <laughs> I'm having a good time. <laughs> having a good time. That was the first cast after the last one. Nice. When it's on, when, when the dry flies are on, it, it, it's spectacular. Lots of fish, that's for sure. Another, oh, a little fatter. Yeah. A little fat rainbow. There we go. Yeah. Oh, go we ahead. Have a lot of food. Yeah, the flies out. This video is made possible by Fish USA, America's fly shop. Visit us today at fishusa.com.